What is up, MTG Portal, and today we are going to be doing another Almond Ket spoilers video. This one is theory crafting on something that I do believe is coming back in the set, and that is gods. So, without further ado, let's kind of break in, and I'll kind of explain where I think we're going to see gods, and, and kind of why I think I, we're going to see that. Um, this video is going to be a little bit interesting. I'm going to break down a list of specific gods from Egyptian lore. Um, that I feel may very well make an impact in some way, and uh, my reasons behind that. So without further ado, here we go, guys. Alright, guys, what's up? So as the title of this video presented, tonight we're talking about the return of gods. Now, I understand that gods have not been seen since the Theros block, and a lot of people might be hesitant at this idea. The first particular god that I'm going to talk about from ancient Egyptian lore is Anubis. Now, for those who are not familiar with the lore, Anubis is the god of the dead. And I solely believe that if we see gods return in Amun Ket's block in Hour of Devastation, that we're going to see Anubis come back in some deviant of a black god. Maybe a black-red mix chaos type of god, but I would be more hard-pressed to see Anubis come back as pure black. I could be wrong, and we could see a black-red mix. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below, and let's take a look at our next god. Our next god up is Osiris. Now, Osiris is, in Egyptian lore, known as the god of the underworld and of the afterlife. Now, when I hear this, I think black and I think white. So I think if we saw Osiris come into play in Amenket and in... Uh, Hour of Devastation, that we would see him in most likely a role as a black-white god, uh, which could get very interesting. Um, that could be zombies tying in with the Underworld theme, um, could have something to do with angels, and maybe a hint of what we saw from the booster pack uh, openings. Very unique and a lot of plausible opportunities. Again, I'd really like to hear what you guys think and what you think if Osiris makes an appearance as a god, what he, what kind of role and impact he might have in Amun Ket. And leave those comments down below, guys. Let's take a look at our next god. Alright, guys, so our next god up is Ra. Now, Ra in Egyptian lore is the god of the sun. So, with that being said, I look at Ra and I almost think of Gideon. Um, just that blunt, powerful, well-known, well-respected um, uh, rapport about him. And I could very well see uh, a Ra god in Amenket and Hour of Destruction holding, holding steadfast with the white. Um, life gain, maybe uh, Falcon tokens... Who knows what could happen, but I definitely would see Ra as more of a white god. What do you guys think? Again, um, leave those comments down below, and let's check out our next god. Alright, our next god up is Seth. Now, again, in ancient Egyptian lore, Seth is known as the god of chaos and change. So, he's kind of the harbinger of destruction. Um... Which is really interesting because Osiris is the god of the underworld, Anubis is the god of the dead, uh, and then Seth is kind of like the the one who ushers those two, um, Anubis and Osiris. Now with that, I would look at him as being maybe a black and red type of god, maybe even a Grixis god, which would be black, red, and blue. Would really depend on what they did with Seth. But, again, uh, being the god of chaos and change, I can really see him being a pure Grixis god, or I can really see him being black and red, which would be really interesting um, to leave the blue out and just focus more on the chaos and destruction side of what Seth represents. So again, guys, what do you think? Leave your comments down below. And uh, we'll get a discussion going on this. Let's check out our next god. Alright, our next god up is going to be Horus. Horus in Egyptian lore is the god of war, sky, and falcons. Again, he's kind of another bird-ish god, very similar to Ra, the god of the sun. Now, with 
Horus, I would see Horus more of a blue-white type of god. Uh, not sure what abilities they could build into that in Amonkhet and Hour of Devastation, but I really think that bringing Horus back, because he is one of the well-known Egyptian gods and well-represented faces of Egyptian mythology, I really think that um, Horus would be a fantastic addition to the god set in Amonkhet. Now, our next god up is one of my personal favorites, and that's Apophis. Now, in Egyptian lore, Apophis is known as the god of snakes and war and chaos. Now, what better color combination would I represent Apophis with than black and green? I think next to what you've seen in Planeswalkers and previous gods, a black-green uh, reanimate or just absolute aggro um, god would be phenomenal. Something that um, spewed snake tokens um, and just had just nasty, ruthless abilities. I could really see Apophis molding right into an Amonkhet and Hour of Destruction. All around, I think he'd be a fantastic god if they bring him back to definitely, definitely represent. Again, leave your comments down below. I'd love to know what you guys think. Alright guys, so our last Egyptian god, or goddess I should say this evening, is Anuket. Now, in Egyptian lore, Anuket is the goddess of the river Nile. Now, obviously with that, we think blue. And I do think that she would make a fantastic god to see in Amenket and the expansion in Hour of Devastation. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see if gods make a resurgence and if they do come back in the set. Again, we haven't seen a god since Theros. Um, I don't feel that it's too horribly soon. I think this is a perfectly timed set to bring gods back. I just hope that they, um, they really hit it home with the Egyptian feel and theme of Amenket and Hour of Devastation. So again, guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was informative. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to the MTG Portal, I have no idea what you're waiting for. Smash the subscribe button. Get involved in our community. Check out our videos and our content. And until next time, look for more spoilers for Amon Ket and Modern Masters 2017 coming your way soon. Thanks for watching this theorycraft video for Amon Ket. Leave your comments and suggestions down below, and make sure you smash that bell so you know of all new content and notifications coming right here at MTG Portal. We'll talk to you all soon. Take care, guys.